Yo, welcome to 2023. It's your boy, John Mike, and we got a new setup today that I'm gonna be talking about, and that is my new set piece where I took a 110-year-old piano uh, that had been gutted, and we took this and we made it into a full-on production station uh, that I'm gonna be doing a lot of content around, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of tracks and stuff like that, so I'm looking forward to showing you around this setup. So I actually didn't gut this piano myself. I found it on the Facebook marketplace scrolling one day uh, and I thought it was extremely, extremely dope. The guy that was selling it actually gutted it and he was using it as a wine bar. But when I saw it, I instantly saw the potential to use this as a studio piece. So I bought it from him and he delivered it himself. It's super heavy, about 400 pounds. So it took about five or six of us to get it in uh, to my studio. Uh, it was super, super crazy. I didn't get any footage of that because it was so intense it took us literally like two hours to get it in here so it's super super crazy so with already being gutted and set up with the strip lights all around it i was already like 80 percent there so in order to make this into the perfect production station i only needed to do a couple of really really dope things to tech it out so i bought this lg ultra wide 34 inch monitor and i mounted it right in the center of the piano that by itself makes it the perfect vibe because it allows me to see so much of the screen and so much of the doll while I'm producing. The next thing I did was I mounted my Yamaha HS5 to the side with a simple speaker mount that I bought from Amazon. And then because I do production tutorials and live streams and podcasts and all of those things like that, I had to tech it out with my Rodecaster Pro and my ATEM Mini. The last thing I did was is added my top down shot using my Sony ZV-1F so I can get the perfect top down while I'm producing, streaming live, and also being able to do production tutorials. All in all, this is definitely the dopest vibe I've had in my studio as it relates to a production station. So I hope this video gave you some value, some ideas for your studio desk setup and maybe how you want to set up. So if this video gave you value, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to be a part of the family, or you could check out this video right here that YouTube has queued up for you and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.